I don't know how to lead off this video, but I can tell you this. I have never before felt this genuinely angry, powerless, and abused in my entire fucking life. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've been posting on Twitter a bit about this, but on April 1st, 2016, I made a video titled The Most Adjective Noun In Slash On The Entire Place. This is a video where I parodied the popular YouTuber that I'm sure 99% of all of you have at least heard of once before, Leafy is here. If you somehow are not familiar, then allow me to explain. Leafy is here is a controversial YouTuber that makes what he and many others call commentary videos, or in other words, roasting videos. The format basically goes a little something like this. He finds a cringy video online, often of some random kid doing some random kid shit, and then he reacts to it, calling the person in the video he's reacting to cringy, saying how much he wants to drink bleach and die, and most importantly, making sure to cringe the video full of filler so that it's 10 minutes long and generating him as much ad revenue as possible. On top of that, he usually uses some video game gameplay as background footage, his go-to game being CSGO Surfing. This gives him the ability to label his videos as gaming videos, which is a blatant fucking lie because in reality, he's really nothing more than a glorified React channel. So what does any of this have to do with anything? Well, in my parody video, I simply did exactly what what Leafy does. I made my voice sound like his, I found a random video of kids being cringy, I roasted them, I played CSGO surfing in the background, etc, etc. Et now, again, I can't stress enough that this video was created and uploaded on April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, so obviously I wasn't being serious at all. This was all just good, lighthearted fun. Leafy himself even saw the video, DM'd me on Twitter, and gave me his personal approval saying that it was a good accurate parody so yeah that's great everything's going great right as time goes on larger more popular youtubers make leafy parodies of their own such as onision and jack's films for example but then on july 6 2016 i log into youtube and am greeted with this a notification telling me that my parody video has been removed and that I have received a community strike because of it. I was completely fucking baffled by this, and I honestly at first thought that it was some sort of a mistake. Like, how in the world does my video violate any one of YouTube's community guidelines while hundreds of Leafy's actual videos do not? Hell, not even just Leafy's videos. There are tons of other commentary roasting channels out there that are much worse than Leafy, yet they also remain completely untouched. Not exactly sure what I should do, I asked my buddy Pyro Cynical what this all means, and he basically told me that this means that a bunch of people came to my video and just mass spammed it with flags. I, I can't see the names of the people who did flag my video, and most importantly, I can't even see what they flagged my video for specifically. I am still completely in the dark about this whole situation. My theory is this. A bunch of hive mind Leafy fans saw my video, thought that I was personally attacking him or whatever, and then abused the flagging system in an attempt to silence me. Pretty fucking pathetic, I know, but we are talking about Leafy fans, so it shouldn't come off as much of a surprise. Another buddy of mine, The Odd Ones Out, asked the YouTuber I hate everything for me if he could give me any sort of advice, seeing as he's probably dealt with this situation more times than any other YouTuber on this entire website. And he told me that the best thing that I could do was to submit an appeal and hope for the best, so that's what I did. I sat down and typed out about a thousand words trying to explain myself only to realize that the text box they actually give you in the appeal submission only allows for 200 characters and real quickly I, I just have to say this is absolute fucking nonsense this makes no sense whatsoever how am I supposed to explain my innocence when you give me barely more characters than a goddamn twitter post that means I, I, I just don't understand how that makes sense at all Anyway, I'm forced to scrap the whole thing, and I simply just type out this to them. This is one of many parody videos on the YouTuber Leafy is here. I believe his ravenous fans have unfairly spammed me with flags because they thought I was genuinely attacking him, which isn't true.
through. Now I'll be the first one to say that's a pretty weak defense. It's really not good at all. But again, with only 200 characters to work with, that's seriously the best I could possibly hope to do. Regardless, I submit my claim, I wait a day, and then exactly what I was afraid of happening happened. I receive an email telling me that they will not change their decision. So I am now in bad standing with YouTube, and the video I made will be permanently deleted off of the site. So that is the situation that I find myself in, and... I, I, I don't know what to do about this. There's nothing I can do about this, is the thing. I, I got fucked over. It's plain and simple. I dared to make a video satirizing the god king of YouTube himself, and now I am being punished for it. You know, maybe I am to blame for this. I, I really should have known better. YouTube is not a place for freedom of speech, and I made the horrible mistake of thinking that it was. The worst part about this is that I'm not even being told what exact community guideline it is that I violated. I mean, I would assume that it's the incredibly ambiguous, hateful content, but I have no way of knowing. And even if that is the case, what the fuck does that mean? What is hateful content anyway? That can mean like literally fucking anything. Is anything I said in my video really that hateful? Because I wouldn't say so. Certainly no more hateful than an actual leafy video, but you know, know what I would actually consider hateful content maybe? How about a video making fun of an autistic man to the point where he breaks down and cries on camera? How about a whole series of videos dedicated to ridiculing some poor man who has a very serious life-threatening eating disorder? How about half a fucking channel's worth of videos that do nothing but insult children for the entertainment of millions of people? Are those videos not overtly hateful? Do those videos get a free pass because the person and making them claims that it's all under the guise of satire? Well, yes, actually, he, has, he does, because you see, I was using the wrong kind of satire. The difference between my videos and a normal leafy video is that this one gets made every single fucking day and it makes YouTube a lot of money. So of course they're not going to touch him. This is a broken system. This is hypocrisy in its purest form, and this is honestly just complete bullshit that I want nothing to do with. Listen, there is nothing more in the entire world that I want more than to continue making videos for all of you guys. But as it stands right now, YouTube has made that incredibly fucking difficult for me to do. I'm really sorry that I'm even having to make this video right now, because believe me, I did not want to. I really didn't. But I feel like I owe all of you an explanation as to what's going on. And I, I think that transparency is really, really important in a situation like this. So anyway, that's kind of it from me. Thank you all for watching. I guess I'm just going to keep my nose pressed to the grindstone and try to keep making videos, even though that'll be really hard with all the restrictions on my channel due to the strike. But I don't know. I just don't know, man. So, thanks for watching. This is Ouija the God, and I will see you all next time.